I know I've seen within the competition dance community here in the U.S. an evolution of including a lot more of the acrobatics and aerials and things like that, even for pretty young kids. And there's a lot of discussion of whether or not that should be in there, what we do to keep them safe. Um, you know, is that still dance or are we doing something else? It becomes a whole debate in and of itself, but it adds a whole nother layer of things that we as providers then need to be educated about because it's happening. So we need to know how to support it too. Exactly. And we've got things like break dancing going to the Olympics, which is great because it's going to give dancing a, a, a big platform and stuff. But how can we incorporate it, you know, it, um, safe, safely? And there's lots of uh, collaboration that's going on with organizations such as Safe in Dance International, um, the Athletes and the Arts, um, the Dance Bridge Project, IADAMS, PAMA, all these organizations, there's lots of, of cross-talking and, and, and support to get the evidence out there and help to implement things safely.